Sure. Well, uh, so in my talk, I've just talked about um, public engagement with geoengineering coming in two waves. So in the early days when uh, post-Royal Society's report on geoengineering, um, there was a kind of flurry of public engagement activity where we, people were trying to quickly find out what public opinion was in this area. Um, it was mainly based around uh, opinion surveys and focus groups. Uh, but the problem was that they were very narrowly framed. Um, so, for example, um, they would adopt a, an emergency, a climate emergency framing, for example, where they'd say, OK, well, if we're faced with a climate emergency, would you support research into geoengineering? Um, and it's these kind of leading questions that really heavily framed this, this first wave of engagement with geoengineering. Um, and so there was a kind of impetus then for people to start um, what I've called open up uh, public engagement with geoengineering to kind of broader discursive frames um, accounting for uh, not just would you support geoengineering under a climate emergency framing, but what do you think about it uh, in the broader context of tackling climate change, for example.